I woke up one day, it was 1992, and I sat my wife down, and I said, I need to tell you something. And she said, I know what, I know what you're going to tell me. And I said, no, you don't. She goes, yes, I do. And she was right. And I can still to this day remember thinking, wow, here I thought that only I saw inwardly and she sees it outwardly and I'd never manifest it. I'd never talk to her about it. And I felt believed. And for me, that was the beginning. The beginning of... Uh, my journey, as I used to, as I like to call it, my journey. And uh, I said to her, I need to do this. I want to do something about it. And I hadn't gotten help. I had been to see a psychiatrist or two, but generally because my parents thought I was coming apart at the seams and they didn't know why. And I said to her, no, I want to go to see the police. And I did. I got in the car the next day. I called the police in London. I said, can I come and talk to you? And they said, of course. And I just got in the car and went. I had no idea what was going to happen. I was totally unprepared. I was scared. And yet, and all the instances I'd had in the past with police typical problem child and typical bad teenager. I had been arrested a couple times for vandalism and being stupid. So I wasn't sure whether I could trust the police or not. And I'd also actually went to the police when I was seven and a half years old. I just remember that one of our neighbors two, two or three doors over was a cop. And I went to him. And he told me I was a liar because his son was a friend of my brother's. And he said, no, you're a liar. He was a policeman. Never forgot that. So I, uh, I didn't trust the police. And yet when I went to the police in London, I felt very comfortable. And I thought, well, I'll be there for 15 minutes. I was there for seven hours. Seven hours. Because sadly for me, I remembered everything. Every detail. I remember dates. I remember what I was wearing when certain events happened. And it came out. Huh. I refer to that day as the deluge. It just came out. And I felt empowered. I felt lighter. I felt physically different. I felt that the child was real. There is a child here still, a worthwhile child. <laughs>